On April 8th, 2024, this coming Monday, the United States will be treated to a rare celestial phenomenon, a total solar eclipse. Eclipses have changed our view of the universe and of ourselves for thousands of years. And they may have even been responsible for some of the greatest technological discoveries and revolutions in science. Today, I want to do a deep dive into eclipses so that you can better appreciate them, whether you'll be able to see the one on Monday or not. I'm trying to get to Austin, Texas to meet up with my friends Lex Friedman and Joe Rogan. We'll see if they'll be there and we'll see if we get clouded out or rained out. Hopefully that won't happen, but maybe we'll make a beeline for Mazatlan. Let's go deep dive into eclipses. Today, we embark on a celestial journey to explore the captivating world of solar eclipses. Buckle up as we unravel their ancient origins, from celestial dances witnessed by ancient civilizations to the mind-blowing discoveries made by modern scientists unlocking the secrets of the sun's corona. Eclipses bridge the gap between wonder and discovery. They've confirmed the groundbreaking discoveries like Einstein's theory of general relativity and revealed the composition of the sun's atmosphere. They've even helped us understand the ever-changing dance between the Earth and the moon and its impact on the origin of life on Earth. We're going to explore the science, history, and cultural significance of solar eclipses, not those boring lunar eclipses. I sometimes don't even go outside the house when there's a lunar eclipse, but I'm willing to fly and even drive hundreds and hundreds of miles or thousands of miles to witness a total solar eclipse. And you should too, if you have even the slightest opportunity to see one of these awe-inspiring spectacles. The story of solar eclipses stretches back through the ages, leaving its mark on human history. Archaeologists discovered mysterious carvings that might have depicted an eclipse. These ancient artists, from the Babylonians to the Chinese, meticulously recorded these celestial events. Some viewed them with awe and wonder, attributing to them deities or mythological features. For others, eclipses were harbingers of bad omens, a disruption in the natural order. These recordings, however improbable the underlying explanation was thought to be at the time, proved to be invaluable to science. They allowed later astronomers to predict future eclipses, a feat that astounded people and solidified the power of science. Even in the early 1500s, Columbus's voyage to the Americas was saved in some sense by tricking the native inhabitants of the West Indies into thinking that Columbus had godlike powers when he and his astronomer, local astronomer on board, predicted a total solar eclipse. That's a lesson to leaders everywhere. Always have an astronomer with you at all times. Early observations during eclipses revealed the sun's corona, a mysterious layer previously hidden from our view. These glimpses ignited scientific controversy and curiosity, leading to groundbreaking discoveries about our sun's composition. The history of solar eclipses from the cryptic carvings of ancient civilizations to the scientific breakthroughs of today is a testament to humanity's enduring fascination with the cosmos. It's a story of wonder, superstition, and ultimately scientific progress. Solar eclipses have inspired myths and legends across cultures. From the moon turning blood during Jesus' crucifixion to the Mayans' meticulous eclipse records, solar eclipses haven't just shaped scientific understanding. They've woven themselves into the fabric of cultures and religious narratives worldwide. These celestial events were interpreted as signs from the divine. The Mayans saw them as battles between celestial bodies, while the Incas viewed them as moments of displeasure from their sun god, Inti. Even in some modern religions, eclipses hold symbolic meaning. The dramatic darkening of the sky has been linked to a significant series of historical events, including the crucifixion of Jesus, as I mentioned earlier. However, these celestial dances weren't just about fear or awe. For some cultures, they were opportunities for celebration and renewal. Special rituals were performed to appease gods or influence future events. These traditions were passed down through the generations, offering a glimpse into humanity's pre-scientific notions of the relationship between humans and the cosmos. Eclipses were a reminder of our connection to the universe, a powerful force that both inspired fear and induced reverence. But the most important thing is that they inspired people to keep accurate records, which would prove invaluable to later astronomers, such as those we'll discuss momentarily. Today, the cultural and religious significance of eclipses has been eclipsed and continues to evolve. They remain a powerful symbol, but that's all, symbolizing the celestial connection to the sacred, the past and the present. Moving into the modern era, in the last century alone, past the cultural spectacle that they induced. Solar eclipses have served as crucial stepping stones in scientific discovery. They've been a rare opportunity to peek behind the sun's blinding light, unlocking secrets about our closest celestial neighbors, the moon and the sun, and unlocking secrets about our closest star in the entire universe itself. Einstein's theory of general relativity would not have been confirmed unless it was due to an eclipse. There was an early eclipse in 1914, but that was only visible across Crimea, 
near the Ukraine where there's a modern day war. And guess what? Back in 1914, there was also a war going on. And it's rumored that some of the Eclipse Expedition members were kidnapped and held a hostage for many months until they were rescued out of Russia. Such a thing could never occur today, right? But that was a good thing in a sense because Einstein's predictions were wrong back in 1914. And he later corrected a factor of two that was missing from the numerical results, which allowed him to be correct in 1919 and have a tremendous amount of ego in a sense because he was asked after the 1919 eclipse, what if the eclipse expedition by Eddington had shown a disagreement between Einstein's predictions and the observations? And Einstein reportedly said, I would have felt sorry for God because my equations are correct. So by observing how light from distant stars bent as they went around the sun's massive gravitational force field, they confirmed Einstein's theory of general relativity, a spectacular confirmation. This forever changed our understanding of the cosmos. Einstein had predicted dozen, half a dozen things at least before the 1919 eclipse that were all in some sense worthy of the Nobel Prize, but he never won the Nobel Prize until after the eclipse of 1919, winning the 1921 Nobel Prize in physics, which for some reason wasn't awarded until 1922. Maybe that's something to do, do with lingering doubts or lingering effects of the war, but he became the most famous scientist on earth. And later that century, Einstein was voted Times Person of the Century. So eclipses have also provided invaluable clues about the earth not just the moon or the sun, but analyzing ancient eclipse records meticulously documented by civilizations like the Chinese. Scientists have discovered a fascinating truth. Earth's rotation is slowing down ever so slightly over the millennia. Another fascinating discovery made possible by solar eclipses was the discovery of helium named after the Greek god Helios, is hidden by the sun's brilliant light. In 1868, Pierre Janssen used the solar eclipse to observe the sun's corona. This previously unseen layer revealed a new element, helium. This discovery not only expanded our knowledge of the sun's composition, but also had a far reaching implications for our understanding of the universe because helium is the second most dominant element in the periodic table and also the second most important element in the composition of the ordinary matter budget of our universe. So we were completely blind to that, if you will, before the mid to late 1800s. I always joke my students, scientists discovered helium on the sun, and to do that, they used a rocket, but they had to go at night. Not very funny, but I'm known for my out of this world dad jokes, as you know. So even today, NASA and other space agencies continue to utilize eclipses for groundbreaking research. My late great friend Jay Pasikoff observed about 100 total solar eclipses in his life. The fleeting moments of darkness allow scientists to study the sun's corona in detail. And this is a region crucial for understanding solar solar wind, and that has an effect on what's called space weather, possibly resulting in a better understanding and predicting to how to avoid Carrington type events, which are equivalent to electromagnetic pulses or EMPs that can totally devastate satellite communication and navigation like GPS on Earth. So that'd be devastating. A solar storm, a Carrington right. event, a solar yeah. mass ejection. Should we worry about them? Is that overblown? How would you personally prepare? Is this something that you're really worried about? So the sun is uh, explosive in its surface activities at the at the micro scale and its large scale and the larger scales explosions it carries magnetic fields and so if the magnetic field of the material coming from the sun in that coronal mass ejection is opposite in direction to the magnetic field of earth then you have your worst case scenario carrington event type event learning more about the sun has not only enriched our knowledge of the sun itself, but also it helps us predict and protect the earth against solar storms. These solar storms could damage satellites and also power grids here on earth. So from Einstein's groundbreaking theories to the ongoing exploration of the sun's corona, solar eclipses continue to be a mesmerizing and powerful tool for scientific advancement. But why should we care? While the awe-inspiring darkness of a solar eclipse might not have immediate practical applications, the knowledge gained from studying them has far-reaching benefits. Understanding the sun's behavior throughout these eclipses that are so rare and precious allow scientists to predict solar storms that could disrupt satellites and power grids. We also want to be sure to protect astronauts when they're working on spacecraft. So studying the sun's corona during eclipses help us understand space weather, which can impact astronauts and spacecraft, including plans to go to Mars by our friend and past guest, Elon Musk. This knowledge is crucial for ensuring the safety of future space missions. I hope you'll get to witness the solar eclipse. If you see it, even partially, you'll gain a great appreciation for it. Make sure you get eclipse glasses. You can get them on Amazon. It might not be too late, or you can look at them through the eclipse safely through trees or what's called a pinhole camera. 
put links in the show notes below so you can out order these or you can make your own even. So I hope you'll get to watch the April 8th total solar eclipse across America. It's the last one visible for 20 years. I know I'm going to be incredibly interested and in deeply invested in seeing it. Here's a map showing the path of the total solar eclipse across America. And I, again, I urge you, if you're within a few hundred miles, even of the path of totality, Please make every effort to try to see it. Bring your kids. Nothing will make a bigger impression upon them. Trust me, I don't even go outside during a lunar eclipse because it's kind of boring, to be honest with you. And they're much more common. But a total solar eclipse changed my life. And I'm an astronomer. Total eclipse of the sun. Oh, wow. So I'm going to take you, if you're willing, I'm going yeah, to sure. show you the That sounds like a lot of fun. This rare event offers a glimpse into our solar system's magnificent luminary and its bright crown, its corona, a sight almost always hidden from humanity's view. Imagine the dramatic darkening of the sky, the crazy behavior of animals like birds and insects, and you will hear the breath being taken away from your fellow observers as they witness totality plunging into the shadow of the moon and blocking out the sun's fiery glow. 2024 eclipse is one of our last reminders for the next 20 years that celestial events have the capacity to influence us at a cultural level at a human level and at a scientific level so rare to be able to witness such things in person our exploration of solar eclipses has taken us on a remarkable journey from the awe of ancient civilizations to the cutting edge research of modern science from unlocking the secrets of the elements to the sun's corona to understanding the earth's rotation the moon's trajectory as it moves away from the Earth, eclipses continue to unveil the mysteries of our universe. So, this Monday, you'll witness day turn to night. Take a moment to appreciate the wonder it inspires. Don't make any pagan sacrifices, but realize what a testament it is to the enduring human spirit, forever reaching for knowledge and understanding amidst the celestial dance of light and shadow.